nobody can do the miracles you have done unless he is from God. Not everyone at the temple shares your belief. Yes, but I know it. You are a teacher from God. So teach me. I want to know more. I want to see God's kingdom. Do you? Yes. I ask because my message isn't a comfortable one for the leaders of the law. Those who believe the kingdom of God is their birthright. This is why I am here. Truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again? What do you mean, born again? How can a man be born again when he is old? Does he go return to the mother's womb? Nicodemus, listen to me. Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. <laughs> Don't marvel to hear born again. This night wind blows where it wishes. And you hear it now, but you don't know where it comes from or where it goes. That's how it is with those born of the Spirit. Look at you, the teacher of Israel, and yet you don't understand these things, huh? <laughs> we have spoken of what we know. We have testified to what we see. But you and the others haven't received our testimony. So if I've told you of earthly things and you don't believe, how can you believe when I tell you things of heaven? I am trying, Rabbi. I know. You have taught the story of your people in the desert, tired of the manna, complaining to Moses. What did God do? Many of the people were bitten by serpents, and many of them died. But God made a way to be healed. He told Moses to set a bronze serpent on a pole, and the people only needed to look on it to be healed. Yes. So, just as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, the Son of Man must also be lifted up, so that people need only believe in him for eternal life. For God loved the world in this way. He gave his only son, that whoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus, but to save it through him. I understand now.